The project is a study of the women designers indexed in Meg's History of Graphic Design. The title, Finding Mrs. Ives, was selected as Mrs. Ives was the little-known wife and typesetter of John Baskerville. The goal of the project was to pull the women, like Mrs. Ives, out of the history books for recognition on their own. I added new data by returning to my research to analyze why these women were included. What steps would increase the odds that a woman would be included in design history? I explored different mediums and concepts. I found that since the research was based on a book, that a book would be the best physical expression. The pagination of the book was planned out first with sketches, then a dummy, and finally a 30% mock-up. The book would have a handcrafted binding to represent the type of work that was acceptable for women to perform in the 1800s. I wanted the first eight pages of the book to represent emptiness since there are no women indexed in the first eight chapters. Then the book would have three sections representing the chapters that women are included in. I identified a relationship pattern associated with most of the women. A strong mentor, participation in academics after graduation, partnerships with colleagues, a husband or partner in the industry, and working for a prestigious organization early in their career. This rating system is identified by the acronym MACHO. The acronym is an interesting coincidence. The rating system was developed to help young women designers create a career path that would help them achieve historical design status. On the cover, the M representing males has been pushed to the back of the book while eggs representing women stays on the cover. The front chapters are light gray to white representing the women's exclusion. The overlapping men's name represent the noise of all their names in the book. The women's names are moving horizontally across the page representing a horizontal bar chart, as well as the pages of the book rolling out to become a physical increasing bar chart. The size of the women's names were determined by how many of the markers of the matcha rating system they achieved. The more markers hit, the larger the name. Note that Paula Shear hits every marker in the matcha rating and she would be considered one of the most celebrated women graphic designers. The colors overall are in the red hues representing femininity the colors become stronger as the number of women increase. The typography for each spread, as well as the complexity of the design, is based on the time period of the chapters. I felt the handmade book was not enough to create an experience. I developed the idea to make a book safe out of an actual Meg's book. The smaller women's book is placed at chapter 9, where the women begin. A pink sticky note saying where are the women is poking out of the book to attract interest to open the book. When the viewer lifts up the book, they are literally pulling the women out of history. The book was displayed in two locations at Chapman University, the Guggenheim Gallery and an art department workroom classroom. In the student workroom, the students were at first interested in that someone left their book. They investigated, saw the note, then opened to the correct page, finding the book within a book. Their interest was in the construction, the folds, and then the names. I purposely left the work artistically open to the viewer's interpretation, but underestimated the student's knowledge of design history. The students, not knowing the Meg's book well, nor the designer's names, had less understanding of my intention than the professors who encountered the book. At the gallery, the book received little visitors, but it was helpful to see the work in place on the pedestal. Professors who encountered the book are aware of Meg's, understood the importance of inclusion, and recognized some of the women's names. Because of their knowledge, they created their own views and understood my intentions better than the students did. There has been a request from design historians and designers Sean Adams and Ann Willoughby to further my research to regionalism and people of color, which is very exciting.